Ohio Sports Network podcast. Tino Fischio installing the Unicorn Gold. This is Caroline Walsh. This is Tara Preston. This is Kyla with Penn Sports Network. Have you surprised yourself this year? What was it like when you started out in high school? I can have my quiet moments, but I'm very vocal with you. Yeah, I think it is really being serious. Hi, my name is Emily Marinas, and welcome back to the Penn Sport Network podcast. And I'm here with Mark Edinger from the IV baseball team, and we're going to just talk a little bit about IV baseball and kind of how he's been brought up with baseball. And let's get started. So, first of all, Mark, <laughs> we just want you to tell us about yourself and where you started with baseball and just how you got your start. So, I'm a fifth year here been here a long time um, but I've been playing baseball since I was five or six years old I wanted to take a year off whenever I was probably like 10 or 11 and I probably never would have got back into it but um, my parents pushed me to play they didn't force me and I think I made the right decision so did you play any other sports growing up football and very little bit of like rec basketball, but I wasn't very good at either of those. So, so yeah. baseball was baseball kind of was, a yeah process obvious. of elimination, right? <laughs> so when you were growing up, did you play in a bunch of different leagues, or was it just the school league, or? Um, well, until I was probably like from thirteen to maybe sixteen, I played on a travel ball team that was like summer ball, and then played on a high school team. Um, for my high school, but other than that, no, just really those two, those two teams. The the travel team, did you guys go like all around or was it mostly like local? Yeah, we went, we had one year where we kind of went all out and traveled to like North Carolina, Tennessee, um, I think Indiana. There was, there was some really far, like the state Indiana, um, there was some far trips that year to try and get some guys like recruited into college. Did you have a lot of recruits in your class, or was it just um, like so-so? Looking back, there was only, I think there was only two or three of us that went on to play college baseball from that from that team. And then on my high school team, pretty much, there was, there was two or three kids from my senior class that did not play <coughs> college baseball. There was a lot of guys from my high school that went on to play college. So, um... What made you choose IUP, and how do you feel that you've developed into a better player because of being at IUP? Um, I mean, it was kind of just one of my options out of out of high school. I knew I wanted to play baseball. I knew I wanted to uh, to have a good school experience too. So I, IUP was one of I think three, four maybe offers that I had out of out of high school to play baseball. Um, and since being here, I mean, we we were pretty bad the first couple of years I was here. We were two and thirty-five my sophomore year, so that was, I mean, that's that's tough, but that that just builds character a little bit. It kind of gets you used to losing and makes you not want to lose anymore. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's helped the last couple of years with Klein coming in, new coaching staff, and everything. So. How do you feel that Klein has helped you guys? Yeah, like, I think with that. yeah, he's he's been he's big on like toughness, like mental toughness. He wants you to be kind of just hard nosed, like, just dirty hats is like our saying. That's kind of his thing. Like we just get in there and do what it takes. Um, but yeah, he's definitely he's definitely changed the mentality of the team a lot since he's been here. So, um, you've been here for five years. What are some key like some main key changes that you've seen like from the start till now like what are the main things that you've seen um i think i think people mature slower now a little bit like whenever whenever my freshman class got here and even the class underneath me they were bought in pretty immediately and then the last couple years it's it's taken a little bit to get like i don't know if it's a age difference or almost generation gap, I don't know. It's, it's hard to reach uh, some of these younger kids and, and, and get some of them to buy in. But I mean, once 
once they have, which they have at this point, it's it's pretty smooth sailing. Right. So how do you play a role as like a leader on the team with a lot of these new kids coming up? I mean, you're one of the oldest probably on the team. So how do you think you're a leader? I'm I'm a vocal leader in a way. We've got a couple of couple of senior and even juniors that are have, have stepped up this year. So you got like me and Blaze, I would say we're vocal leaders and then there's guys that lead by example, like Harrison and, and Peyton and Ashawn, Landers. Um, these guys are they're they're coming in and doing their work every day and everybody sees that. And so if if they're not then I'll, maybe I'll hold them accountable or, or try and get them to be held accountable. I, I, whatever it is, um, it's different, different for different guys. It's not a like cookie cutter. You can't yeah. you can't treat everyone the same way. Not everybody responds to the same kind of leadership. So you just kind of have to know who you're dealing with and what the situation is and what they need at that moment. Are there any times that you've seen yourself like I have to be the leader in this moment? Yeah, yeah, it's it's tough. I mean, it's leadership is lonely and sometimes. I mean, it's it's not not easy to have to be the bad guy sometimes cuz like I don't want to be, but like I was just saying, I've been on a team here that was 2 and 35. Like that is abysmal for for like a really bad baseball team runs into 10 wins at at some point throughout the year and we just couldn't get it together and there's a lot of a lot of selfish attitudes on that team, and that's kind of that's kind of whenever I I get upset is whenever I see guys doing things for themselves and and not about helping other people. Yeah, like it's a team. Right, team, so. right. So, um, you guys started out really strong this year. You had like a little bit of a setback this weekend. How do you think you're gonna go forward the rest of the season after this weekend and just like the first part of the season being like it, you're into it now. So. Yeah, yeah, I hope it's a, a wake up call. I mean, we only have what five series left, I think, four or five series left. Um, so it's it's coming down to the end of the season already. Like it's crazy to say that, but we, we kind of put ourselves in a little bit of a hole in the last two weeks. Um, splitting with Clarion and then losing a series to slip. We're going to face some really good teams coming up next couple of weeks. So I hope, guys, it's, it's just like a, a wake-up call for us instead of like a, a setback. I don't want to call it a setback because I mean, you're going to lose games. It's not – nobody's undefeated, but except for East Stroudsburg right now, I think. But that's different. Um, yeah, it's it, – losing is part of it, and I think that it's how you respond to the losses going forward. Right. That's more important. So how, like, what are some things that you guys have been focusing on in practice to get ready for these next couple games? And um, Well, we we haven't practiced yet since, <laughs> since but, the weekend. But, yeah, we'll – this weekend, I mean, we struggled – struggled a little bit with the, the starting pitching. I'm sure we'll have something to do probably today um, to, to pay out for that. Um, so that's – that's something we need to work on going forward is just starting strong and, and finishing the game. I think a lot of times um, if we get out to an early lead or something like that, we'll get comfortable or if it's a tie game for a long time or even even if we go down early. I feel like the, the mindset is almost like whatever the result is at the beginning of the game, that's how it's going to be the rest of the game. But there's still however many innings to be played. You can't can't take any innings off and I think that's that was what we struggled with the most this weekend so I think that's what we'll work on this week. So you guys have been getting I, I kind of noticed I'm not super comfortable with baseball yet I'm getting uh, there okay. so yeah. like I noticed you guys have been getting a lot of pitchers in the rotation so mm -hmm. far this season mm -hmm. um what are some thoughts about that do you think they're learning pretty good that a lot of like I think there's some younger ones that yeah. you're getting in there so what are do you think they're learning from you or I hope so. Yeah, I think I think it's important. I mean, Shields, he's a started a full year last year. He's technically younger, but I wouldn't even call him a younger guy. Like he's a he's a very mature player. He's a smart pitcher. He really knows knows his stuff. And then San Martino, he's he's stepped up a lot too. He's a freshman arm who we 
are really depending on going forward, and it's it's cool to see him him step up because he works his butt off. So it's fun to watch. And then I mean, there's some other freshmen too that are that are right there. Like they have like I mean, Gabe Johnson, Bryce Devan. Like these guys are are studs. Like they could be really good, and they just uh, they just haven't quite gotten over that hump yet. Like they have, I think they have the mindset and they have a, a good approach to the game. Um, so it's it's going to be fun to watch and come back here in a year or two and see where these guys are at because I have I mean I have high expectations for the whole freshman class like the whole freshman pitching staff that's a lot what it is is a lot of um, a lot of freshmen are pitchers is what I'm trying to say yeah. sorry yeah. Um, so and yeah even like Mankowski he's a he's a sophomore transfer but he again he's he's starting for us he's making pitches he had a really good outing yesterday um it's it's cool to see some of these guys develop like from from the fall to now you can just see it's it's night and day for some of these guys so it's cool so you're uh you're a fifth year so what are some decisions oh, sorry what are some decisions that helped you like decide to come back like was there anything specific that made you come back for a fifth year or was it just like I have to, you know. Yeah, really, there was there was never really a doubt, honestly. Um, it was kind of in my head that before last year even started, like that I would be coming back for my fifth year. Um, I'm a dual major, so getting a second degree this year. So I mean, that's a that's a huge thing too. I'm first person in my family to get a college degree, and I'm getting two of them. So it's a uh, it's a pretty cool feeling, and then. Actually, second, my mom went back and got her degree. So, sorry, mom. Um, so it's uh, it was never really a question for me whether right. I was going to come back or not. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, we talked a little bit, but um, Mark played for the Mill Rats, which is something that I'll be doing for my internship this summer. So I know a little bit about it. But it's the Johnstown Mill Rats. They're a uh, Wombat League in um, Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Um, I was just gonna ask him a little bit, like about that on the side, like how that helped you develop as a player. Yeah, that was the that was really where I learned how to how to be a starting pitcher. Um, was in Johnstown. Uh, my pitching coach Scotty Bateman and head coach Parker Lynn. They were they were huge in like building up my confidence and just making sure that. Um, making sure that I was taken care of or that our whole team was taken care of really, but that as a starting pitcher, cause it was the first time I was making a, a full season of starts. So that's, that's really where I learned how to like pace myself and not go out and try and throw as hard as I can for an inning or two. And then that'd be it. Like I can, I can throw six, seven, however many innings because of that summer really. So it was, uh, it's a it's a tough schedule. We played what that's like fifty five games or something in sixty days. It's it's some crazy like there's no days off. It's definitely it's, a lot. Yeah, it's it's a lot. So, but it's I mean it was really fun. It's it's cool to be around baseball all the time and be around that kind of environment. So, I'm sure you met a lot of people through it. Too, yeah, like, yeah, from absolutely. From all over the place. Yeah, sure. from all the people in Johnstown too are super supportive. They come out to the games. They'll ask for autographs and it's like, I don't really think you know who I am, but it's like, I'm, I'm like a nobody, but the kids, like they light up. It's no different to them, whether they're there or at a major league game or whatever. So they're just, it's, it, it was really a, a great experience. And I mean, I would recommend it to anybody who can go play in a league like that to go do it. So what year did you do that? Like when you were coming in that, like, what year in IUP were it was you? After my sophomore year, so it was the year before uh, Klein got here. Okay, so do you feel that that really got you prepared coming into your? It was your junior year. Or yeah, no? yeah, going into my junior year, I definitely, yeah, I was, I was absolutely more prepared from playing that summer. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> do you have anything else to say about just the mill rats in general, or? Um, yeah, I love the Mill Rats. I just, I, I really do. I love playing for them, and it was, I guess, it was a great experience. That's so. awesome. Well, it makes me excited to <laughs> yeah. work from this summer. So, um, so you, you currently 
are 13th in program history with 138 career strikeouts. So how does it feel having a record like that at IUP? And how do you think, A, it helps like the team look up to you a little more, it like, affects your role on the team, and B, just um, pushes you harder like to keep, keep going? Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to kind of look at that stuff and see like where, where I rank among some of the people that have like on, gone on to get drafted or play at higher levels. It's, it's cool to see some of that stuff, but I try not to focus on it too much. It, uh, that, would, that would take me out of the zone and make me focus on things that aren't really that important. I mean, yeah, it's, it would be cool to, to chase a record or get, get some kind of record, but it, it's, that's not really what it's about, you know. It's it's cool to, like I said, it's cool to have, but outside of like winning something, I don't really. If I get to win a PSAC and then also break some records, that would be cool. But it's it's not gonna feel as good if we don't win anything. Yeah, so, so, right. It's yeah. a team sport, right. so you're like more worried about the team mm -hmm. and right. moving forward with the team. So that makes sense. So. Um, just some thoughts going on to the rest of the season and anything else you got to say about the team? No, I think the, I think we're in a good spot. I mean, I really like where we're at. I can't remember. What's our record 17 and seven or something like that. I, it's the best record we've, we've started with in a really long time. And I think we have a chance going forward to win a lot more games. We're really starting to believe in ourselves. I think we're, we're still kind of working out some kinks. Like we're trying to just play as a team, I think, at this point. Like we're, um, yeah, like I said, we're, we're piecing it together. And I think that going forward, that's going to be huge is to just play as a unit and, and play for each other rather than per, for any other reason. Right. So I just thought of this too. So are you planning on playing any farther than uh, college or are you not really sure yet? Um, I don't know. I There was hopefully an opportunity. Uh, there was one last year that I turned down to come back here so I hope that maybe something will come up again but um, yeah I, I'm, I'm kind of just trying to worry about this year. This I'm, year I, more than... A couple of years ago if you asked me that question I would have said oh yeah I want to play after college. Like, I would have said all that but um, yeah it's it's really the, the line ends somewhere for everybody, you know, it's, right. it's, it stinks, but it's, uh, it's a reality. So I'm just looking forward to finishing out the rest of the season. All right. Here. So that was Mark Edburn from the IP baseball team. Uh, if you get a chance, definitely go watch them. They're doing really good this season. Um, thank you for watching. This is the Pet Sports Network podcast and have a good day. <laughs>